everyone, so today we are going to be talking all about the new, actually are they still considered new? I feel like there is so much newness in the beauty community that if I don't talk about a product within like the first 48 to 72 hours of launch, it's considered old news. But I still really wanted to talk about the kind of new KKW concealers that everyone is talking about and I have seen at least like 15 reviews of these concealers and all of them have been super positive like really really positive so of course i wanted to test it out for my specific skin tone you guys know i'm indian it's always a struggle to find foundations and actually just complexion products that work for my skin tone either they're too light too dark too gray too pink too orange too green they're just not right so anytime i can find something and recommend to you guys you know a complexion product that actually works for my skin tone it's always a win for me so with all that being said let's just jump right into the video so if you wanted to purchase the concealers individually, they are $18 a piece and you get 0.162 ounces. Now I know for a fact that that is way less product than you would get from other concealers, but I do want you to keep in mind that these are $18. So for instance, the Tarte Shape Tape, I think it's like $26 or $27, but you also do get 0.3381 fluid ounces. Wow, that is so specific. But you do get more product, but of course you're paying more money as well. So with these concealers, you're not paying as much, but you're also not getting as much product. Now, like I said, you can purchase the concealer on its own or you can buy it in a whole kit. And the kit, I will insert a picture right here because I actually don't have it with me. But the kit includes one concealer of your choice, one setting powder, like loose setting powder, one brightening powder, one dual ended brush which honestly looks like an eyeshadow brush like i personally wouldn't really use that as a concealer brush but you do get that and you also get a small dual ended or like a double sided concealer brush again that's not something i would use really either okay now i want to touch on the shade range which of course we had to talk about this the shade range i personally feel like there should be more darker shades. I feel like I say that so often, um, and I don't know like when brands are really gonna get it, but I know for a fact that KKW and Kim Kardashian West really are very open to criticism. So here is some constructive criticism. I feel like right now I see a lot of light shades in the concealer range. I see like 10 shades that are on the light side. Then I see like two or three medium shades, and then the rest dark shades. So there definitely needs to be more medium and darker shades 100%. But I'm just gonna put this out there. If Kim Kardashian or any member of her team is watching, please introduce some darker shades so everyone out there can try these products. Okay, now with all that being said, let's just go ahead and talk about the packaging and then we're gonna jump right into the actual demo. So I have to say, I really like the packaging. I actually really, really like this nudie pink color. I've said this before in my previous um, KKW Beauty reviews. I really like this color, especially in person. Like you can definitely see the KKW like pop even more. And it's just very like clean, minimal, and very Kim Kardashian. Like I really feel like this is very like on brand for her. Um, all the concealers also have numbers instead of names and I so love that because caramel can mean a lot of different things. I can be considered caramel. Caramel can also be someone that's darker than me or lighter than me. So it just gets a little bit tricky, a little bit confusing. But when I see a shade name, I feel like that's so easy and quick and I love that. But anyway, moving on to the actual packaging of the products itself and this is what it looks like. I really, really like it. Again, super clean, super simple. There is some weight to this also, so it doesn't feel like cheap in any way. It feels really, really nice and sturdy. I tied my hair back. I have you guys up close and personal because I really want you to see everything in detail. And if you hear tiny little footsteps, Kobe is like literally chilling on the floor by me and he keeps walking back and forth. I don't know how to show you, but he's like literally on the floor right next to me. He's so stinking cute. So these concealers are supposed to be super, super creamy, pigmented, and hydrating on the skin. Now that is perfect for anyone like me who has really, really dry skin or someone with mature skin. So I have shade eight and shade number nine, and honestly, they look very, very similar to one another. This is shade eight, and then this is shade nine. So let me just go ahead and swatch these for you guys. Okay, so here is shade eight. It has a very yellow undertone for sure, but this is just looking to be a little bit too light for my skin tone. And then this is shade nine, 
which is more on the peachy pink side, which I definitely prefer my concealers, especially to use underneath the eyes, to be on the more peachy pink side because that really helps to color correct and cancel out any darkness underneath the eyes. So I definitely think I'm gonna go in with shade number nine today for sure. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take shade nine and I think, should I just do one side first? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and start off by doing one side first. And wow, that is really, really creamy. Do you guys see? I just did like one swipe and you get so much product and it just feels really like, it feels really cooling on the skin, which I love. I'm just gonna go ahead and take my own beauty sponge. This is from e.l.f. Cosmetics. And I'm going to really press the product into my skin. And I have to say, this actually blends out really beautifully. Like, do you guys see? I didn't even really do much work and it blended out so nicely. Woo! Okay, I have to say, I'm really liking this. This is really reminding me of the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, except that Tarte Shape Tape is a little bit more on the drying side, whereas the KKW Concealer definitely feels very, very, like, cooling and hydrating. I'm almost, like, kind of curious to see how number eight also looks. Should I just apply a little bit? Okay, I'm just gonna apply that much on this like little line that I have here. Um, let's see how this helps to brighten that line. So I'm really, really trying to go for that Kim Kardashian bright under eye look right now. Okay, so here is what number eight and number nine looks like. I'm actually surprised that number eight also blended out so nicely. Um, but I definitely think that I would only recommend number nine if you guys are close to my skin tone. If you're a little bit lighter than me, maybe like NC35, NC40, then you should get number eight. But otherwise, stick to number nine. Okay, now I'm just going to go ahead and apply number nine on the other side as well. And I think I'm actually going to take some on my forehead because I would normally highlight my face like this. Anyways, like to bring it down the bridge of my nose to also highlight my nose. Okay, now let's go ahead and quickly blend the other side out as well. And actually, maybe I should use a makeup brush to also show you guys how, see how these blend out with a makeup brush. So actually, I do have a brush right in front of me. So I'm gonna just go ahead and see how this blends out um, with my brush instead of using my beauty sponge okay now to set my concealer in place i'm actually going to use my own uh, mac and patrick star powder which i love so much i use this literally every single day there is a little bit of a tint to this powder but when you actually apply it to the skin it completely disappears and it's just like the best powder to bake with um so i'm just going to take that on my beauty sponge and apply this directly underneath the eyes to set my makeup Okay, so before I finish the rest of my makeup, I also want to give this KKW Beauty uh, Brightening Powder a go. And this just looks like the most interesting product, but almost like a product that I don't feel like I need. I don't really know. So this is what it looks like. It looks like a yellow like banana powder and honestly just looks like a pressed translucent powder. I did go ahead and swatch this on the back of my hand and it looks like it's way too light for my skin tone. This is number three, shade number three, and it just looks like it's way too light for me. Let's just go ahead and apply a little bit of this brightening powder. And I don't wanna to apply too much because I don't want it to look like too white or too powdery, you know what I mean? I don't know, does that like really do anything? I guess this side does look a little bit like brighter than this side but to be honest I feel like it looks a little bit too bright like it almost looks like white I think I would honestly skip this stuff even though it does brighten it but I think the shade match I think that's what's throwing me off it's just a little bit too light for my skin tone but I'm gonna just go ahead and apply some on this side also just to keep things even Okay, so here is the final look with the baking powder, the brightening powder, the concealers, and all that good stuff. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly finish the rest of my makeup then I'll be back to give you guys my final thoughts and what I think I would purchase from this line and what I would absolutely skip so I'll be right back in just a few seconds okay now for my final thoughts on KKW Beauty and this entire concealer launch I have to say you guys actually really really like the formula of these concealers they're super creamy, super pigmented, and blend so nicely on the skin and actually do a really good job at brightening underneath the eyes. So these concealers, I think, are definitely the way to go. If you're gonna purchase one thing from this launch, I would definitely say the concealers. And again, number nine, if you guys are close to my skin tone. Okay, now with this brightening powder, I do have to say that it does feel really nicely on the skin, but what's throwing me off is the fact that this shade is actually a little bit too light for me. I was expecting this to be like completely translucent, but it's definitely not. Um, there is like some color to it, and it just is a little too light for me. And unfortunately, shade number four would be too orange for me. So overall, for like the lack of shade range in this specific category, I would say that the highlighting powder is a total pass. All right, guys, so that's it for my KKW concealer review. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And let me know if you guys are gonna be purchasing these concealers. Let me know, please let me know your thoughts on my background. If it's too much, let me know and I can like, okay, I feel like I need to take off a few things because looking at my like viewfinder, it's looking a little bit cluttered, like a little bit too distracting. But let me know your thoughts regardless in the comment section below. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!